All right, so we're gonna get this sensor out. Got it hooked up to my Arduino. Uh, it's kind of fucking haggard at the moment, but it gets the job done. I'm gonna be converting it over to a uh, Arduino Nano. A lot smaller. Uh, basically gonna heat shrink up the unit so it's easily hidden. Um, just filled up about 10 gallons of E85. I'm still on a, a 93 tune, so I'm sure that my car is going to run like shit whenever I start it up. <clears throat> but this will at least kind of show the ethanol content. Right now, I've got a short in my fucking wire, so it peaks out real high, but you can see it climbing, reading the ethanol content. There was two gallons of gas in it, and then I just topped it off with 10 gallons. cool thing I like about this also is it can do a 0 to 5 volt output so if you set up map switching on uh, a voltage style uh, you can have it trigger your E85 maps through the voltage like we can do on the Evos through the map switching uh, makes it pretty nice so that way you don't have to flip any kind of buttons or anything it just automatically flip over like on the GMs the one thing too that I heard, I don't know if anybody else can confirm, but I've seen a lot of talk of them stopping E85 and it actually starting to be now like an E53 or 52 or something like that. I don't know how true that is, uh, <coughs> but and how I'm sitting right now, it's you know, E47, 48, and this is... 10 gallons of it with just two gallons of gas um, I'm sure that it would obviously go up I don't know if there's some kind of calculator that should show you where you should be at but I'm sure it'll slowly climb as it mixes together a little better the whole reason I was really kind of pushing to do the project was mainly based on you know these gas stations having this stuff and people you know tuning a car on E85 and then going and filling up and not getting the E85 and I didn't want to spend you know higher side of 200 bucks for an E85 gauge when I've got maybe how oh, I don't know 15 bucks in this whole setup here I mean can't beat it for the money I mean you know it's not the most exotic looking thing in the world but it works so you know, that's a plus and I know that because on theirs when they got a sign on it now it says ethanol 51% to 80 81% so I'm kind of curious if it if it isn't below e85 I mean, just like in this case here, you know, you want to know what you're getting. But I plan on having a write-up. Uh, should have it up today on how to do it. Um, obviously, if you've got any kind of questions, just message me. I can uh, I can answer any kind of questions you got. So pretty much, she works, but kind of go from there. I know one of the things that I don't like is the I don't the fuel temp doesn't seem to work the greatest on gasoline for some reason. I don't know why. Once I put E85 in the car, it fired right up. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if you got any questions, just let me know.